He goes, takes a shot. I'm in my stance. I'm moving. And he got, boom. I, I just plop, plop down on him. He's driving me. Keep driving. Drive, 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 drive. See how I crushed his head? And now I'm going to either sweep him to my right or I'm going to cinch it tight. And then here's the detail I use. Remember, uh, Faraz was talking a lot about, and, and he's right, he was setting it up perfect for Silver Fox to teach the details. The old school pull. Don't do that. You pull, the guy's head's going to pop out. Okay? So Silver Fox was talking a lot about shoulder goes forward, right? Guys, here's the detail I like to teach my students. I put my chin on his spine, which kind of puts that shoulder forward. Watch my chin. That's where I put my chin. I go chin right there on the spine. Like this, here. Now, try to pull your head up. Yeah, you can, right? And now, as I'm here, I could wrap and tap him, or I could crescent kick sweep him to the right, or if for some reason, Gino is a beast. Watch out, I'm gonna go this way. He walks towards me kind of hard. I could roll him this way. See that knee on the belly? And now continue to try to move, Gino. Try to move. Now I'm here. Now watch. Swivel around the mount. Next. I don't want to be in the position I'm in right now. I want to crush his head. Okay? Keep trying to move. And now I'm going to drop on his head and look at my left foot. I stomp it into the mat. And now I'm crushing his head as I squeeze. Just like that. Sometimes I have a grapevine with this one. See that grapevine hook? Sometimes I hook that, sometimes I don't need it. But my hips are turned sideways. Try to move, Gino. And if he bridges me, uh, bridge to your left, that's okay, keep going. I'm right here and I'm crunched, and I'm already finishing. He's in danger right there, okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm pumped up tonight.